Hi, welcome to the How To Gizmo channel. In this video, I'm just going to go through uh, the basics of my first ever FPV250 mini quad. Uh, I don't know anything about quads, so this is the first time I've attempted to build one. I got most of the parts off eBay, and I got some of the parts, uh, some of the other parts, like the uh, speed controller and the board, from Hobby King and their Super Sale. Um, the speed controllers, I wish I hadn't brought these actually, uh, they, they turned out not to be so great. One of them failed within the first sort of 10 minutes of me using it, so I had to order another one. Um, so I wish I'd got something else actually. The motors had uh, turned out pretty good, they were from eBay, from a Chinese seller, pretty cheap, seemed pretty powerful. The controller was from Hobby King, I don't know much about uh, hods or controllers or anything. So uh, just following what people say to do. So this is supposed to be a good controller for beginners. The frame is nice and cheap. Uh, it's a plastic frame with a sort of carbon fiber and aluminium cage that can go either on top or below. It's up to you, depending on what you're going to put on the, um, the quad. You can not bother to put the cage on at all if you don't want to. And you can just put a little bit of plastic over the controller for it uh, just takes four screws to screw in place. It really does depend on uh, how you plan to configure the helicopter, depending on uh, how you're going to use the cage. There is a little square rectangular hole um, in the plastic part for you to mount a servo. So if you want to add a, like a camera gimbal for a mini FPV cam, you can do. Uh, this is something I plan to do at a later stage. Uh, for the moment, I'm just going to try and basically well, the next stage for me is just basically put the SJ4000 um, sheet sort of GoPro copy camera. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to attach it yet. I've seen some photos online where people have actually put it in the cage, so I might attempt to do that. But currently the cage is on the top, so I might have to move it to the bottom because the propellers are going to hit the camera. Otherwise, I can have a fiddle with it and see what turns out best. Putting the cage together was fairly straightforward. Um, once you know what you're doing, a little bit confusing at first if you've never built a quad on how to attach the motors to the um, arms of the frame because in a lot of photos I've seen them screwed in uh, but my motors did not fit the frame at all and I was thought I was thinking well I've, have I brought the wrong motors but it just turned out you have to zip tie the motors onto the frame it's nice straightforward once you know what you're doing I struggled a bit with attaching the controller board as well uh, I'll probably go into it a bit more in another video after this but um, there's some little plastic slits you can just basically screw the controller board in but I didn't know they were there at first so I was a bit puzzled I was wondering about gluing it and all types of stuff but uh, yeah once you know what you're doing it's quite straightforward the frame goes together fairly easy like I said um, it, the only one thing that does concern me is the strength it's okay probably with the receiver and the board in when you start putting your cameras in and maybe um, you know, transmitter for FPV and then maybe an additional FPV camera, the weight of the craft goes up. Uh, so I don't know how well it'll take a, a hit, a hard hit on the ground. I don't know if the frame or the cage looks like it could snap quite easily due to so many holes in it. Uh, so I suppose time will tell on that. See what does actually happen. I've taken it for an initial um, test flight, you can see in one of my other videos. Um, and uh, I'm rubbish at flying it, so it's going to take a bit of practice, but it does seem quite fun. And I really look forward to getting uh, my HD camera uh, attached, the one I specifically bought for this, because I used my Toshiba one in the first few videos I've made, but it's a bit too big to be honest. So the SJ4000 looks a lot smaller, um, so hopefully it'll fit on the frame much better. So it's a nice looking frame as well, for the price, can't really go wrong I don't think. I think probably will buy another one as well just as a spare. That's great, so thanks for watching. Uh, please comment if you like the video. If you don't like the video, let me know what I can do better. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. Um, and uh, yeah, check out the next video I make. Thanks, bye.